Tonight, a Linfield grocery store has been closed after several employees tested positive for coronavirus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. Whole Foods says this location will be shut down for several days, undergoing deep cleanings and disinfecting. WBZ's Jim Smith is in Linfield for us tonight. Tonight, Whole Foods says it is taking this action out of an abundance of caution. There's no word on exactly how many workers are sick. Sunday shoppers showing up at the Whole Foods store in Linfield suddenly found out it was closed. The company says the action was taken after several workers tested positive for the coronavirus. A neighbor who shops there frequently was quick to react. I was scared because I was just there a couple days ago and everything seems fine, you know. It's impossible to know like who's sick and who's not, especially with like asymptomatic cases, so it's kind of crazy. I feel like it's better. The more things are closed, the better. But you know, I understand that people need things and Whatever, so I feel bad for the employees that are sick. Other retail stores have periodically been forced to close too, including a number of local Walmarts. Although Walmart has now announced they have reopened their Avon and Abington stores. Whole Foods says it expects to reopen the Linfield store in the coming days, adding that professional deep cleaning and disinfecting have taken place. But this mother and son who live close by remain uneasy about the pandemic in general and when the state might ease restrictions. We're nervous, like they're talking about opening up a week from tomorrow. And I'm wondering, is that just going to spike? You know, are there going to be more cases? Because other parts of the world now where they're reopening, cases are rising. So I feel like we're in such a rush to reopen. Whole Foods says the diagnosed workers are in quarantine. The company also says it's paying workers who have had to miss shifts because of the closing. In Linfield, Jim Smith, WBZ News.